think the difference that it makes it actually brings citizens onto the European scale, not just like regularly in Brussels you only have the lobbyists and the politicians there, you actually bring people from the different countries, the Europeans, to Brussels. As a climate campaigner working at Friends of the Earth Europe, I think that energy cooperatives such as uh, part of uh, the RESCOR project are very um, useful for citizens to get ownership of their own energy production, to get involved in the energy production. Um, they can have a uh, financial return from uh, getting involved in these sort of projects um, because they become a member uh, of a cooperative um, and get a return from the um, from the um, electricity selling of the cooperative, for instance. I give a lot of uh, very good value to all projects related to civil society and uh, renewable energies uh, uh, losing contact with the citizen and the civil society uh, can result in a disaster. Like, for instance, uh, you, you can have a social uh, an acceptance of uh, large uh, wind parks, uh, um, photovoltaic camps, etc. Who here in Brussels is responsible for deciding on that two million? And I want to find out why they're not obeying their own rules and regulations in relation to public contemplation. I think that uh, we have very poor information from uh, what happens uh, in other countries and so the, the first added value is just uh, um, uh, organize, organizing meetings and uh, that uh, just for us to know each other. Cooperatives are instrumental. They are the insurance uh, um, guarantee that uh, the uh, uh, renewable energies become really democratic, truly democratic, and not uh, just uh, a, a large uh, green economy project for some uh, big power, uh, financial power groups that uh, keep extending their power from the fossil fuels also to the solar energy.